Hi everyone, welcome to another video on CISP exam question and answer series. In today's video, we will study the CISP domain for that is the communication and network security. So without further ado, let's get started with the questions. So question number one is which protocol should be used for an audio streaming server where some loss is acceptable and the options are IP, ICMP, TCP and UDP and the correct answer is UDP. So UDP is used for application where a high speed is required but a loss, uh, uh, a loss can be acceptable. Some loss, some data loss can be acceptable while on the other hand the TCP is used for application where there is no loss acceptable such as in case of uh, email communication we cannot accept any type of loss while in audio and video streaming we can accept some type of and some form of packet loss. So question number two is that what network technology uses fixed length cells to carry data and the options are ORCnet, ATM, Ethernet and FTDI and the correct answer is ATM. So ATM is the correct answer because ATM is the networking technology that uses a fixed 53 byte cell. Question number three is that the secure shell server listens on what port and protocol and the options are TCP port 20, TCP port 21, TCP port 22 and TCP port 23 and the correct answer is TCP port 22 while the TCP port 23 is used by the SSH counterpart that is Telnet while the 2021 20, is used for FTP 20 and 21 they both are used for FTP Question number four is that what network cable type can transmit the most data at the longest distance? And the options are coaxial, fiber optic, STP and UTP. And the correct option is fiber optic. So the fiber optic is the cable that can uh, we can use for the longest distance as well as for the highest data rates. Well, these uh, to the STP UTP they usually carry up to distance of 100 meter and up to maximum up to 1 gigabits or up to 10 gigabits in the latest uh, UTP or uh, STP cables. While the uh, uh, fiber optic this uh, can carry data up to several hundred kilometers. Coaxial is also just like the STP UTP, it uh, data rate is less while the distance it covers is also less than the fiber optic. Question number five is that which device operates at layer two of the OSI model and the options are hub, firewall, switch and router and the correct option is switch. So switch operates at layer two, hub operates at layer one router operate at layer 3 while the a simple firewall can operate at layer 4 while application layer uh, firewall can operate up to layer 7. Question number 6 is that what are the names of the OSI model in order from bottom to top? So we will directly go to the correct answer. This is a very straightforward question and the correct answer is the order from bottom to top is that physical, data link, network, transport, session, presentation and application. Question number seven is that which of the following authentication protocol uses a three-way authentication handshake and the options are CHAP, EAP, Kerberos and PAP and the correct answer is 
chep or chep stands for the challenge handshake authentication protocol challenge handshake authentication protocol so as the name suggests that it uses handshake and the handshake is three way so chap is the correct answer question number 8 is that restricting bluetooth device discovery relies on the secrecy of what and the options are mac address symmetric key private key and public key and the correct answer is the mac address so the mac address we want to secure or hide the mac address that why we want to disable the bluetooth discovery question number 9 is that which wireless security protocol is also known as the rsn or robust security network and implements the full 802.11i standard and the options are aes wep wpa and wpa2 and the correct answer is wpa2 so wpa2 is the latest and the strongest algorithm of all these and this also implements the aes for confidentiality and some other protocols for the authenticity or for authentication question number 10 is that which endpoint security technique is the most likely to prevent a previously unknown attack from being successful in the options are signature based antivirus host intrusion detection system hids application wide listing and perimeter firewall and the correct option is the application wide listing so the signature based antivirus is used for known attacks the host intrusion detection system is used for detection not prevention while the perimeter firewall it is not uh, an endpoint security control it is a perimeter control so the correct option is the application wide listing question number 11 is that which transmission mode is supported by both hdlc and sdlc and the options are asynchronous balance mode asynchronous response mode and normal balance mode and the last option is normal response mode and the correct option is normal response mode this is supported by both hdlc and sdlc question number 12 is that what is the most secure type of eap and the options are eap tls eap ttls leap or peep and the correct option is eap tls so this is a correct a correct option because this is the most secure form of eap because it requires both server and client side certificate while the ttls and peep they are similar but they both don't require the client side certificate similarly the leap is a cisco proprietary protocol and that does not require the client certificate and also has some security weakness question number 13 is that what when protocol has no error recovery relying on the higher level protocol to provide reliability and the options are atm frame relay smds and x dot 25 and the correct answer is frame relay so the frame relay is a packet switch layer 2 wan protocol and it features no error recovery 
question number 14 is that what is the most secure type of firewall and the options are packet filter stateful firewall circuit level proxy firewall and application layer proxy firewall and the correct option is application layer proxy firewall it is a most secure form of firewall because it encompasses all the osi layer it provides protection against all osi layer attacks it provides protection up to application layer that is layer 7 question number 15 is that accessing an ip version 6 via an ip version 4 network is called and the option are cidr net translation or tunneling and the correct answer is tunneling so accessing ip version 6 network using ip version 4 network is called tunneling so that's all for today thank you all for watching the video i will uh, upload the uh, domain 5 video very soon so stay tuned for the next video thank you